Whew. It's your boy Diddy Knows Ball. And I'm back with another video. Man, I just watched the Knicks versus the Cavs. And man, that shit was a beat down, man. That shit was an absolute beat down, bro. And that it, it was an interesting beat down, too. Because the Knicks, you on paper, you would think they're not as good as the Cavaliers. But when you seen it in game, the Knicks was way better than the Cavaliers. But I'm specifically focusing on Donovan Mitchell and the Cavs in this video because it looked like they running it back. And I really didn't know how to feel about that. So I went back and rewatched the series. And I'm going to give y'all my thoughts. First, I'm going to start with Donovan Mitchell and Darius Garland. Them niggas got to be better, bro. Donovan Mitchell, as a guy that's experienced in the playoffs, Jeff Van Gundy said it in the broadcast. Donovan Mitchell, one of the greatest playoff performers we've ever had. So... For him to disappoint in this series and drop like he did, he went from 28 points to 23 points, and he dropped in all his field goal percentages across the board. Uh, that shit was very disappointing. Uh, I, when I initially found out Donovan Mitchell was going to the Cavs, I kind of thought that would be enough because I was banking on Darius Garland to improve. I was banking on Evan Mobley to improve make things easier on Jared Allen, and then you still have a scorer to come off the bench or spot start and carriage Levert. But boy, oh boy, oh boy, man. That playoff series, man, it left a bad taste in my mouth when it comes to just looking at the Cavaliers as a whole. But uh, I Donovan Mitchell had that really good game one, but it was in a loss. And you could say – Darius Garland didn't show up. He didn't. But it, it was just the best game Donovan Mitchell played in, they lost. So that's telling in itself. And I, I just think they got to get better from within. Since they already running it back, you got a lot of young guys. And uh, I ain't going to say a lot of young guys, but you got a few young guys that you trust in Garland and Mobley that you just be like, okay, if they get better, then maybe. But how long is Cleveland fans and Cleveland ownership go allow? How long they gonna allow them to grow? Because that first round series, it just wasn't good. Uh, Donovan Mitchell, man, and they play like trash, man. Darius Garland, he played like trash for the most part. He had a couple spurts here and there within the games, and if you look at the percentages, it wasn't bad, but. He should have just been way better. Um, I'm, I'm thinking about. I don't know, bro. It just King Garland and Mitchell, Mitchell and Garland. Can they be the two best players on a conference finals team? Uh, that's the real question. Can they sustain as a backcourt? Because they didn't do their job in the playoffs offensively. And they damn sure didn't do their jobs defensively. Um, that's another thing. When I looked at the matchup between the Knicks and the Cavaliers, the Cavaliers, you would think they would have had the, the advantage in the backcourt. But that proved to not be the case. Uh, Jalen Brunson, uh, Josh Hart, and Emmanuel Quickly, they kind of had their way when it comes to just overall basketball game. Like, um, Mitchell struggled scoring. Garland struggled scoring, and he had a lot of turnovers. Um, so the best part about Cleveland's team wasn't very good. Um, and then you could you, I got a transition to uh, the Cavaliers. They they have a specialist problem. There's no there's nobody on the Cavaliers that you look at and say, oh, he's good at multiple things the only one person that's good at multiple things and it's in spots is evan mobley but if you really look at the cleveland cavaliers roster everybody's a specialist donovan mitchell scorer garland scorer playmaker uh evan mobley is a swiss army knife but he's not consistent in anything jared allen defensive uh anchor karis lavert 
six man type of guy. A Coro defender, um, Osman shooter. Uh, you you get you catch my drift. Rubio, uh, solid backup point guard. Like nobody's dynamic on the Cleveland roster when it comes to they can do multiple things. So that reared his head in the playoffs. Um, and then that that leads me to the X factor of this team, and the only reason why they shouldn't be calling for a trade to trade any of the core four guys, but they should be just calling them to get better. And that starts with Evan Mobley. I think Evan Mobley is the X factor. He shut down Julius Randle. Y'all can say what y'all want, but that nigga shut down Julius Randle. Julius Randle didn't get nothing going into game five, and then he got hurt. But up until that point, Julius Randle was null and void. Um, It was R.J. Barrett who was kind of becoming that second guy. Like, after game two, like game three and beyond, R.J. Barrett became the second guy to go with Jalen Brunson. And then you got some good minutes from Hart. You got some good minutes for quickly. Um, But I think Evan Mobley did his job defensively. I want to get that out the way. Evan Mobley did his job defensively. He averaged 10 rebounds. So he did his job on the glass. He did his job defensively. Um, It was moments and times where they put Evan Mobley on the elbow and he got a couple of good passes in, like a uh, backdoor passes in to uh, Garland, a couple lobs to Jared Allen. Uh, so those things was promising. He had a couple turnaround jumpers in the post. He had a couple hook shots. But it was all flashes. He didn't do too much of anything consistently offensively. None of it was consistent. He averaged like nine points, I think. So none of it was consistent offensively. So – we we Cavaliers just have to expect a jump from Evan Mobley if they want to get further in next year's playoffs. So that's something to look out for. Um, getting to Jared Allen, Jared Allen was absolutely terrible. That dude got his lunch ate by Mitchell Robinson. It was really kind of embarrassing. It was really kind of embarrassing. Uh, Jared Allen. He looked as scared. He kind of came out and said the lights was too bright for him. And you could tell, like, Jared Allen was – he just – after – I think he checked out after game three, man. Game four and five, Jared Allen, he checked out, man. He was not interested in rebounding. He was not interested in scoring. Jared Allen checked out after game three, man. Like, I ain't going to lie. If Jared Allen play like that again or he has a slow start, even in the regular season, man, they need to look to trade them just because the Cavaliers roster need more versatility, man. That roster needs more versatility, man. Like guys that can do multiple things. They have too many specialists, too many guys that's one dimensional. Um, I would like to see Jared Allen get more consistent when it comes to just like, damn, give me one post move that you can do over and over again. Um, he has to get more boards. He went from 10, 10 boards a game in the regular season to like seven. Uh Mitchell Robinson, he's a solid player, but you should Jared Allen, you was an all-star. You was an all-star before. And you should never get outplayed by Mitchell Robinson. No offense to Mitchell Robinson. But he completely dominated Jared Allen on the boards and as a presence in the middle. So that was very embarrassing. Um Karis Levert, Karis Levert, he overshoots, man. I don't know if Karis LeVert's a winning player. He hit some timely threes. He hit some threes here and there. He had a really good game, too, uh, him and, him and uh, Garland. But in terms of an outlook for these teams, I don't know if Karis LeVert will be somebody I want long-term, like two, three, four, five years. No. Um, and Isaac Okoro wasn't bad. Isaac Okoro wasn't bad. He had his moments. He looked it really good coming off the bench. Um he has to get more consistent with that corner three. And it, his jumper don't look bad, but uh, I don't know what to expect from this team going into the future. But if Evan Mobley could become that guy who is a consistent two-way threat, then maybe Cleveland has a chance to be another top three, top four seed again this year coming up. But it's going to be all on Donovan Mitchell and Darius Garland, defense in the backcourt and offensive consistency in the playoffs. Jared Allen has to do his job on both ends. Evan Mobley is the X-Factor. Karis LeVert, Isaac Okoro, 
They need to be better on the wing. They did add Max Struess, and I like that. So I think if you put Max Struess in those corner situations, I think that's going to be very good. Um, Isaiah Mobley, there's another guy who who should be able to get some minutes in that front court. They can do a little bit more things than Jared Allen. Um, Isaiah Mobley came off the uh, Summer League Championship, and he played very well in that Summer League. So I expect him to get some minutes. But um, we – just watching the Cleveland Cavaliers, them niggas need more better performances from their role players, man. If they can get their role players in check, if they get solid – contributions from their role players. If Darius Garland and Donovan Mitchell do their jobs as scorers, then I can see this team uh, possibly get into a conference finals or at least get into a second round next season. But I expect a jump from Garland and Mobley and more consistency out of Donovan Mitchell. Uh, Max Struess, he's probably, now that I think about it, Max Struess is probably going to be very, way more important to this team than I can think because he can play a little defense. He can definitely shoot, uh, he can do a little something off the dribble, not a terrible passer. So he probably could slot him in in that wing position. But I really don't know if I would trust to put him on the Tatums of the world still. So there is that. Um, but, you know, coming into this video, I kind of want to blame Donovan Mitchell and Darius Garland. But the more I think about it, man, that was a team effort. That was a team effort of mediocrity, man. But uh, this is your boy Diddy Knows Ball. This is how I feel about the Cavaliers going forward. Uh, Till next time. If you like these videos, like, comment, subscribe. What team y'all want me to do next? Look into. Uh, but yeah.